Good morning, everyone. I pray today that you know that you are loved. You're loved by the Father. Today's St. Valentine's Day, and it's typically the day we all go out, get Valentine's cards. Gentlemen, take care of your business today. It's ladies, take care of your business today. We go and buy cards and flowers and all of those things to give to our loved ones and to let them know that they are loved. Does the Father give you bouquets of flowers and love today? Yes, he does. He gives that to you every day. He gives it to you by the beauty that he displays around you, by you, the ways you see his creative activity, the way that you just melt at a wonderful sunrise or sunset, the way that your heart is touched when you walk through wildflowers or you see the trees sway in the breeze as they say a great god made us each day throughout creation the father is saying to you that he loves you and encourages you live in that love that the father has for you what's the history here of saint valentine's day because we're going to start here but we're going to end up somewhere completely different saint valentine's day is named after several men throughout the Roman church. Two were martyred by Claudius II. The other came forward later from South America. All of these, the Valentinus, the name that have been venerated and unvenerated by the Catholic church. It is generally accepted that St. Valentine is the patron saint of bees and birds and engaged couples, people in love. But where did it actually begin? Well, it did not necessarily begin with St. Valentine himself, but more began with Ch Godfrey Chaucer back in 1375, who took liberties with history and all of those types of things. And so in his uh, wonderful poem, The Parliament of Fools or Parliament of Files, if you will, he talks about courtly love. And he says on, this on the second on February 14th, as a day for which was sent, that on St. Valentine's Day, when every fowl cometh there forth to find a mate. He could have been the inventor of this because he was a very popular poet, and we still read, it, read his poetry today. And that's the idea that we come together to express our love for one another, that we give away the love that we have for others as Christ and God the Holy Spirit have given us their love. So we express that. But as I mentioned before, we're going to end up somewhere quite different today. Because in expressions of love, there's also the expression of grief. When my daughter died back in 76, 70, 77, I'm sorry. The number one question on my mind was, did she know I loved her? She's a three-year-old. And so, of course, that she would know that. But I needed to have that assurance in my own heart. Last night, Michigan State University, there was another mass shooting. This morning, St. Valentine's Day, the people, parents, students in grief, Asking that same question, did my child know that I love them? And that question goes on because there are many in our country who are asking that same question as they walk through grief. And we grieve because we love. We love and part of loving is grief. And so this folk come to deal with the grief. Understand that. As of today, the 14th of February, there have been 50 gun shootings, mass shootings in our country since then. There are families, persons in grief, asking the question, why? We always ask that question, why? Why is that? Why does this have to happen? Why does this violence have to happen? Why is my child, my loved one, my wife, my daughter, my son, my husband no longer with us? We ask that question. I take solace in two places. One is scripture that the father says he's given us a certain number of days, Psalm 139, 
You've written down in your book, The Number of Days for Me. That's how much God loves us. We don't always understand the method by which we get called home. But I take refuge there. Because at some point, no matter what the circumstance, the Father is going to call me and call you home. I understand that doesn't do much to comfort the grief or answer the question, why? Because that's a God question. The second place I take comfort in is this. And it came about this way. My daughter, Tanisha, died. And about a year later, we we're in Cleveland. And we're talking with my pastor and his, his wife and his nine-year-old daughter, Wendy. We're just walking by, asked me a casual question, because nine-year-olds do. And she says, why did your daughter have to die? I didn't have an answer. But out of my mouth came these words. God loved her more than I do. And I did. I take solace in that because I know that the Father is loving and the Father is just. And he's going to speak there in our grief, in our sadness, in our collective moan, our collective wail. The Father will speak there with comfort. And so what I'd like for us to do this St. Valentine's Day is do expressions of love. Speak to people, guide them, speak into their hearts, their minds, their souls. But I want us to do something. If you'll remember, the Buffalo Bills are playing in the playoff game. And in that playoff game, DeMar Hamlin takes a hit. He dies, basically. His heart stops on the field. And all the people in that stadium, the football players and all, are gathered around on one knee praying for him. The whole nation, all everyone who is watching that playoff game, are praying. They came to watch a football game, but they ended up in a prayer meeting. And that's my encouragement for you today, that in your expressions of love, that you pray for the folk at Michigan State, but that also you pray for all of the people who are the victims, including the perpetrators of this violence that has taken so many lives in a, in a year that is little more than 45, 50 days old. I ask you, too, in your prayer time, to pray for comfort for those folk and then pray against the violence because the violence comes from one place and it comes from the enemy himself. And so I encourage you to pray there because the day is St. Valentine's Day, a day we express love and care for those, the day we understand and receive again the Father's care and love for us. I ask you to extend that love to pray for the people, the victims, and pray against this violence that has so captivated our country and taken so many lives from us because of the violence of the enemy. Let's pray. Precious Jesus, today is Valentine's Day, and Lord, we thank you for the ways you love us. Lord, we thank you for our loved ones, and Lord, help us today to hold them close. Lord, I pray for myself and my friends who are watching this, listening to this, that, Lord, you'd speak into their hearts and Lord, help us to pray for the people who are in grief. Lord, even those who are reliving this grief, Lord, in Michigan, there's right down from the school, and the college, there's a high school where this happened as well. Lord, pray for them, Lord, as they relive this trauma. These griefs, Lord, comfort them, Lord, as only you can. Lord, you tell us that you will meet us fresh and new in our grief every day. Lord, I pray for that. Too, Father, I pray against this violence that, Lord, it plagues our country, plagues our world. Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. And, Lord, I pray that, Lord, you would bring about your peace in our own hearts. That, Lord, we would begin to see each other as brothers and sisters as opposed to enemies. Lord, I pray for the perpetrators of these violent acts. Dear Lord, you'd speak into their hearts, Lord, of redemption, forgiveness. Dear Lord, the victims, Lord, as with the folks in the Pennsylvania shooting with the, in Lancaster, with the Amish, that, Lord, they would forgive the person. 
Father, guide there with your spirit as only you can. Lord, thank you for loving us. Lord, we extend the love you have for us to the victims and the perpetrators of these acts. Too, Father, we pray for those who are, who are doing copycat things and wanting to do this for themselves, Lord, to bring peace to their hearts. Lord, they would stop these thoughts. Lord, we pray that you'd bind the enemy, that, Lord, the enemy would have no place in our hearts, that he have no place, Lord, that this violence would cease. Lord, we love you, we trust you, we thank you. And Lord, we give these things to you, Jesus, in your holy, your mighty, and your blessed name, Lord. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends, and happy Valentine's Day.